Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we... Get... There. When we last left off, we explored this area, the Taco Da Shrine, which was shrouded in a sandstorm. Clearing out that shrine also uh, turned off the, the sandstorm. And so this episode, we are going around the Gerudo Desert in a clockwise fashion, defeating everything that stands in our way. It has come to my attention, oh, that it is very good to defeat these guys because, let's see, uh, do this. It's very good to defeat these, these Lizalfos because they can drop gems. And gems are always good to get. They're very, truly outrageous. All right, uh, let's clear out some of the bad weapons here. And die. You know, maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe I need to get Flurry Rush on these guys, and that's the best way to defeat him. That was bad timing. Come on. Yeah! That was weird. Flurry Rush got canceled. Well, he's dead. And it was worth it because he dropped a bunch of gems, which translates to a bunch of money. You. I could sneak in, but I'd rather do this. Look at that. Look at that very easy flurry rush timing. So yeah, this episode, we're, we're mainly just going to be spending it exploring. Thank you, goodness, the golden claymore is dead. Mainly going to be expending it exploring. Uh, I don't really... I can... I see us completing most of the Gerudo Desert this episode, unless there is, like, a trial or something. Is there anything here? I mean, there's you, but is this worth it? I don't see this actually being worth it. Beyond the beyond the rewards of them dropping gems, I don't see a, an actual, like... I don't see a chest anywhere. This is just a low... Oh, wait. What if the chest is over there? That's possible. Wait a minute. No, there's a chest here. Okay. Pull this thing out of the ground. Hopefully not get hit by it. And it contains a beautiful bomb arrow. That's not bad. That's like 300 rupees right there. And actually, let's get in. Let's get Wolf Link into this action. Because we're wandering around. So it, it'd it be nice to have him. Have him around helping us. If only to hear that. Don't really. You drew aggro. You drew aggro by howling. But if only to hear that brilliant, um, Twilight sound effect. Okay, let's switch armor since it's daytime now. And... Get the slow-mo. Kill him in one shot. Is there anyone else in here? N Wait, no. This isn't a stone- Okay, it's not a stone talus. I was real worried. This looked like a stone- Oh, but it is a Korok. Oh! Oh, well that's well hidden. It was behind... Oh, that's that's clever. Okay, so which one is the comparison here? It's the top one, which means that this needs to rest right there. Yeah. All right, so only a few seconds left on my movement speed boost, so let's make the best of it. We're currently running towards the shrine, since I don't see anything else anywhere. Might as well just head over there. And we saw this a number of episodes ago when we were scaling the mountain and uh, and collecting and beating the shrines on, on that mountain. There were three, actually, story shrines or shrine quests devoted to this, so it was, it was pretty cool. And it looks like there's a... A weird encampment over here? Or some ruins? What is that? There, it looks like there, there's a Korok seed which we can get. It's probably going to be pretty difficult because we don't have the the boots. We don't have we don't have the the really cool boots that allow us to run on sand unabated. Also snow. Let's see. Do I have any raw meat? Yeah, I do. Here, Link. Could you have that? Thank you. I really don't want him to die. We haven't used Link too much, mainly because whenever I'm wandering around, he just can't traverse things that well. But now that we're just on the sand, this is really cool. And he can follow along with me. 
Uh, will I be able to make this? I don't know. It's it's hard to tell with this thing how far far it is from me. I might need the the sand shoes for this because it, it the size of it scales with with your distance, so it always stays the same distance no matter where you are. Oh, this is gonna be close. Oh, this is gonna be close. Oh boy. This is going to be close. Okay, switching clothes to this, this, and this. Jump! 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 Oh, wow. Wow, just seconds away. Alright, take two. Got a speed up boost, which... While it is a low speed boost, it's probably going to shave at least two seconds off of this. Maybe even three. Okay, I need to use my stamina fully. Yeah, this is this is already better. Come on. We have a quarter of the time left. But I think we can do it this time. Oh, Link, cheer me on. Wolf Link, cheer me on. Okay, so now switching over to climbing boots. Ready, set, go. I am well aware of that game. Jump! 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 Got it! Whew! I don't even think that shaved off a, a full second. That was... That was close! Wow! Okay, let's quickly re-equip our other clothes because Link is not... Link is not happy about this. Uh, boom, bat, bloop, dot. Okay. Now, is there... A purpose to this these ruins or do I just need to head over to the shrine now because it looks like I, I'm I keep saying there's a stone talus but it, it really does feel like there would be a stone talus on this particular outcropping of rock it's just it's the right size for a an arena where it's like 150 feet by 150 feet I mean we fought on smaller but that's usually the standard size. Sorry, Link, I might have to summon you again. You won't be able to follow me up here. I'll try to make it quick if it's not a stone talus. Which it doesn't appear to be. There's just nothing here. Okay. Well then, in that case... Let's take some damage and head on over to... Come on, Link. Come on, Wolf. 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 Where? There, there he is. Let's head on over to this... this thing! Yeah, not the shrine. We'll head over to that in a moment. Now, at any moment, I fully expect... Whoa! The winds? I'm going... I'm going at such a, a fast clip there. I'm really expecting my map to disappear, but thankfully I've already set the beacon, so I, I can find this shrine and it looks like if we head over there uh the the sandstorm will greet us so let's try and surf our way over there i i believe it's faster i i lost my sand seal so i'm i'm really hoping i i run into another one and here's the shrine what is it called it is the misei suma shrine whoa whoa hi I, this was not what I was expecting. I just found found the shrine too. Ugh, my throat's so dry. I can't move a muscle. If this really is the end, I wish I could ha have one last taste, one sip, one sip of ice cold noble pursuit. Mm. Oh, that. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's. All right then. I was not expecting this. Let's set in our tr our uh, portable travel marker. Although, wait a minute. Can I have just t traveled to the shrine? No, I can't. So, th this is smart. I'll place that, and then I'll teleport back to Gerudo Town, and... What on earth? I think, we actually, we need to go back there anyway. So, we'll we're going to head back to Gerudo Town. This is not very expected. After I actually head up this mountain. And we can get that noble pursuit. That's... This is a okay. I'm not expecting this. Here, let's also let's first head up here though, because there are rush rooms first of all, and second of all, stone talus. Uh, it looks like a stone talus, guys. Stone talus. 
Actually. Actually, it might be. Nope, not a stone talus, but it is a Korok. A very easy Korok? Hi, Wolf Link. Thank you for helping me. I really appreciate you, actually. I really do. Uh, but, uh. Oh, you're back. I'm glad you're okay. Truly, I am. Naburus is no longer a threat to the town. I'm still worried about the larger threat to Hyrule, but at least my people won't be troubled by Naburus anymore. Ooh. I want to offer you these as thanks for your help. I, I trust you'll accept them. These pieces of equipment are priceless treasures of the Gerudo people. They were once worn by Lady Urbosa. <laughs> Since you and Lady Urbosa were friends, it's only right that you have them. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Can I have this? Please? Huh? Halt! That is the treasure of the Grudo, the Thunderhelm. You may be held in high esteem, but this does not give you the freedom to lay your hands on the pride of our people. Yeah. Be calm yourself, Buliara. You desire this helm? Sure! <laughs> uh, it's pretty, I see, and yet, despite the great debt we owe you, we I cannot just give such a precious thing to you. Mm. But you are up against the enemy of Lady Urbosa. If you truly desire it, then perhaps I can lend it to you? Yes, lend it to me. Well then, let's see how serious you are. This helm is a cultural treasure. To earn it, you must gain the trust of our people. I want you to address their concerns and bring a resolute peace to our town. Oh! Well... Cool? Un unexpected? We already know that you are powerful, but you can't solve all of my people's problems with power alone. Okay, well, we'll work on that later. First, let's get our treasure, and then head over and get that, that uh... Resolve, because that drink, because I I really need it for that woman who is dying as we speak. Daybreaker! This shield was cherished by the Grudo champion Urbosa. The gold he used to make it was handpicked to, to ensure a design that is both white, lightweight, and very durable. Hello! I need alcohol to save a, someone, a friend, who is dying. Vazak, a Hylian Va, huh? I can't tell how old you are, but this place is definitely not for young Vi. Because the drinks we make here are different from regular drinks. For one, they have a rare treat in them. Ice. Noble Pursuit, please? You want to try our signature drink, Noble Pursuit? Unfortunately, I need a huge amount of ice to make that drink, and I'm fresh out right now. Besides, it's a very strong drink. If... Even if I could make it, I wouldn't sell it to a little Vi like you. Actually... There's a woman dying who needs alcohol. What do you say? Pocky's collapsed? Mm. Hmm, I've, I want to help her out, but I can't make a uh, you-know-what without ice. There's ice at the ice house, but my legs aren't in the best shape for hauling ice. Should I get it for you? Aww. Are you serious? You'll get it? That'd be a huge help. Pocky is my best customer, after all. I wish I could get the ice myself. Anyway, the ice house is north of town. Ank manages it, but I think if you explain the situation, she'll let you have some ice. Mm -hmm. You should know that she heads to bed quite early. If you plan to go, you'll need to get there while it's bright out. Mm. Oh, young lady. Carrying ice all the way through the desert and back to town? I can't let that stand. If you bring the ice to the entrance to the ruins, between the town and ice house, I can take it from there. Okay, well, let's get on that real quick, after I say hello to you. Stupid Vo, who needs them? Poor woman. <laughs> ah, Vi from out of town, Savak. I wanted to plant an orchard, so I picked up trash, I pulled the weeds, I tilled the ground, I did all the stuff you're supposed to do to make the soil happy, but, but, the trash. All this trash keeps getting washed down into the water trough, and I can't use the water there anymore. If I can't use the water there anymore, my orchard is doomed. We'll work on that later. Right now, there's a woman who desperately needs alcohol or she will die. Hello! Oh. This is an ice house used for storing the ice brought down from the mountains. Seeing as we live in the desert, it's pretty important stuff to us for us Gerudo. So I guard the ice house 24 hours a day. Actually, there's a woman. Needs alcohol. She's dying. I see. Well, if Ferosa wants ice, then you should bring her some. You're permitted to take some ice. You've taken the heat into account, right? If you move too slowly, the ice will surely melt. Ferosa has no use for Vother. Okay, hear me out. I actually have an idea concerning this. I think I can get it to the very end 
by stasising it and launching it full blast straight ahead. So that is that is my plan. Did that work? Let's go find out. That didn't exactly slide like I had hoped that it would. So let's, uh... It might have shattered into a billion pieces. I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, I don't think that worked. So let's let's do a take two on that. No! Oh. I tried to throw my ice cube. No one touches the ice cube. Except the sun. The sun is having its its way with this ice cube. Ah! Uh, head into the shade. Don't look. Don't look. Okay, I'm fine. Almost there. There she is. I have a lot of ice for you. Couldn't you just like, I don't know, make a, a tunnel? Hey, over there, this way. Bring the ice over here. I'm trying. Is this enough? This should be enough to make one drink. Well, no doubt about it. That's definitely ice from the ice house. I'll def I'll be able to make a noble pursuit with, with this. It may be the best I've ever made. I've got one more favor to ask. Could you go and tell let Pocky know? Just tell her the best drink ever is waiting for her. What? No, of course this will work. Knowing her, if she hears a delicious drink is waiting, she'll come running. Uh, I was going to take it to her? But I'll try? Back at Masei Shuma Shrine, I can probably get my, my Vo clothes on, actually. Uh... Vo clothes! Hey! I can't take it anymore, I'm going to rot here. Actually... There's a really good drink waiting for you back at the opposite end of the desert. Huh? Did you say, best noble pursuit ever? Pfft, I am gone. <laughs> really? Really? Okay. She was dead to rights. But the news of a drink saved her. Truly, that's the power of a placebo. Misei Shuma's blessing, what does it give us? Something good? A diamond! That's pretty good. I will not complain about a diamond. That took up a sizable portion of the episode that I didn't expect it to, but just because... Just because it took that long doesn't mean I won't continue to explore at least a little bit. Also, now that we're done warping everywhere and spending time inside of a city, I can feel comfortable to summon Wolf Link once again. He can accomplish some menial tasks like fending off wolves for me, so that's always appreciated. Okay, so there's a, a sandstorm which we encountered earlier. I can't go any further. Oh, I'm at the oh, I'm at the bottom of the map. Oh. Well then, uh, let's place... Just so I know... Yeah, let's place that so if I know that if... That, uh, that beacon is ever on my right... Then I am I'm butting up up against the end of the map. Well, that's sad. I was kind of hoping that we would go down to the ocean, but no, we can't. We can't actually go any further south. Which means that this desert isn't nearly as big as I I thought it would be. Also, it might mean that I I should be heading to the north at least a little bit just to get out of this. Yeah, now I can actually see. And that goes really far. They. They modeled that really far out. It makes me wonder if at any point they're going to, instead of releasing, quote-unquote, a new game, they just release a gigantic expansion pack the size of an entire game where they allow us to go outside the, the realms of the map. I mean, that could even take the form of another disc, but it's an add-on to Breath of the Wild in that it's a new story. You can still go back to this world, but you could also go way outside the, the boundaries of the map. That'd be really, that'd be pretty cool. Well, it looks like there's something over there, some sort of, of oasis. I'm not getting any shrine indicator, but it is literally an oasis in this desert. So let's surf on down to that get as, as far as we can. Sadly, Wolf Link is going to be trailing behind. 
<laughs> is it a stone talus? I, I always wonder that, but really... I did not mean to have that arrow equipped. But really, a lot of the secrets of this game are indeed just stone taluses. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It does... It does feel rewarding when you can get... Wait, whoa. Mulduga. We were supposed to fight a Mulduga for a quest, but where... Whoa! Th is that a Mulduga? Uh... Hello? I... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh! Shoot him! Shoot him! Wolf Link, bite him! Bite the giant seal! Oh, goodness. No! Oh. Whoa! Whoa, he launched me! Is this safe? I think it is. Where even is Wolf Link? Keep shooting him! Keep shooting him! I don't- you can't get it- get to me! I really don't want to cheese like this, but it's working. Okay. Shock him! Drop, drop, drop! Oh man, I, I tuckered myself out. Come on! Uh, would ice work? No, it does not seem to. Fire is effective, maybe? No. Uh, I don't want to use ancient arrows, but I could use these! That did some damage. Where, where is he? Oh, oh, he's up, he's up, he's up! Can I climb him? No, but I can beat on him. I probably shouldn't be beating on him with the uh, frost blade. This! He's done! We had to face one of these for a quest, didn't we? Where did Wolflink go? Did he... I think Wolflink might have died. Oh, okay. What is that? Mulduga guts. Giant organ obtained from Mulduga. This invaluable ingredient is hard to come by, and its use is often shrouded in mystery. Mulduga Finn. Man, it's it's been forever since we've seen a new enemy. I mean, we've seen different variations of the Talus, but when was the last time I legitimately saw something and went, whoa, that's new? Never? <laughs> like, that's that hasn't happened in a long time. Yep. We get a Royal Shield durability up, and then... A Royal Broadsword with attack up of 18, which I am actually able to carry. Well, that... I didn't expect to see a Mulduga. I honestly forgot about that quest. Uh, none of you really gave me any hints about it, because it, it's fairly, it seems to be fairly straightforward. But, man, Mulduga, we did it. Let's climb this thing now and find out what it's all about. Also is surprisingly absent is one of the elemental dragons. Usually that kind of goes hand in hand. Let's see, what is this? What is up here? A chest, a small oasis, which is appreciated, a bunch of of ingredients. Spicy peppers are always appreciated. Uh, what? Am, what is that? There's a. You see this? There's a target somewhere. Let's see. This is the. Oh, I see it. Right there. No, right there. Could only really see that on the shadow. So there's the chest, there's this very small... Oh, it's actually a camp. Huh. Makes me wonder if anyone frequents this camp. And a chest containing... 10 bomb arrows. Well, I'll take that. And yeah, that was... This is a weird... Very weird uh, reward. Very weird location. Just had a Mulduga here. Nothing else. And that's that's it. That's all she wrote. Huh. Okay. Well, let's let's continue on. I mean, I I'm not sure how long this episode's getting, but that doesn't really seem like a stopping point to me. I think we can go a bit further. Oh, come on. Die. There. Leave. <sighs> Will I really have to kill you? I think I will. What are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa! Oh, I can catch it! Oh, that's so cool. Here. Get ready to throw yours. And I'll throw mine. We'll trade! Aw, oh, that's too bad. You, you, you died. And now you're dead. I got you. 
get your Lizelle forked boomerang. Which means I am the victor here. Arbiter, oh, Arbiter's Grounds, and a uh, Molduga, uh, Moldugas, Moldugas, take that out, let's take this out, come on, oh boy, thank you Mifa, I was not paying attention, oh look at him, he's like, he's like a whale, okay, uh, I almost died from that, so, let's, uh, let's be more careful. Let's be a lot more careful. There he is. I see you, and I can... I can stasis you. Come on. Whoa! That does a lot of damage. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? It's over there. I can't even really see... Oh, there he is. Okay. Keep plinking away. Oh, I don't need you. Don't you see I'm fighting a whale? This is a whale! That is killing me and will probably kill you too. You should probably help me fight face the whale. <sighs> Stupid Lizalfos. Run up. I no way I could catch up to him. Die! Die! Come on! Oh, what is he doing? Wait, what? What? He's... My arrows aren't coming out? You see that? Where's he going? Are you running? Are you running like a coward? I think he's running. I think he actually ran away from me. Oh, wait. No. Is he coming back? What is he doing? Oh, oh boy. Where's he going? Where's he going? Thankfully, I won't die to him. What is he doing? Did he honestly forget about me? Yeah, I'm right here. Ow. Come on. Come on. What do you got? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, I think he's honestly forgetting about me. Yeah, okay, do that. And... I will kill you. And is he dead? I'm not sure. Yeah, he's dead. Well, our second Mulduga, and it kind of destroyed me. Get a bunch of Mulduga fins, Mulduga guts, which probably sell for about a billion dollars. A royal halberd with long throw. I guess I, I took it. And the Arbiter's Grounds. What are these about? I, I mean, this is a good place to end the episode, yes, but we are in the Arbiter's Grounds, which would suggest something arbitrary. I mean, not not arbitrary, but something arbitrary. Like, I don't know. Did not mean to do that. Like, you know, the, the place, the mirror from Toilet Princess, or something cool, maybe? I mean, this is nice, too. Whoa, I just got two diamonds from that! Two entire diamonds! Okay, I guess that's cool. And a Korok, of course, because Koroks are worth as much as diamonds, for sure. So, if this is the Arbiter's Grounds, then that means that buried beneath it must be... Must be the the mirror of twilight and and all that all that fun jazz. Wow. So we found the arbiter's grounds, even though there there's nothing here. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild every. Monday and Wednesday, and next time we're probably going to finish exploring uh, the Gerudo Desert, and then after that, after that, then we're going to be heading back to Gerudo Town. Oh wait, I already looted that. We're going to be heading back to Gerudo Town and clearing out a couple of quests. I discovered that one where there's the child trying to grow the garden. Uh, there's that, and then there's also there's there's also the Thunder Helm, which we, I just got this episode. So we can find out what that's all about. And we're going to be finding out what those are about probably 
next episode because we're almost done exploring this. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and join me next time for another episode of Breath of the Wild. I am the great fairy Terra. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers came, arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now. I need money. All I need is 1,000, which you've conveniently just gotten. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need money.